Hey Airheads, we have something a little bit different today. You know, usually at Airgun Depot, we get a gun and we throw every pellet through it to find out which pellet is made for that gun. But today, we have these new 25 caliber hunting slugs from Hunter Supply. And you know what? Instead of finding the right lead for the gun, let's find the right gun for the lead. So what we did is we got a hold of eight rifles, four bullpups, four sporter stock, and really these are the common breaches and power plants that most of you guys own. You know, when it comes to slugs, not all air guns can handle them. It really comes down more or less to three big factors, the amount of power, twist rate, and if your barrel's choked or not. Let's take a look and find out if your rifle can handle these slugs or not. So we have a total of eight rifles. Brokhawk Bantam, Adaman M2R, Hotson Bullboss, and FX Impact rounding up the bullpups. In sporter stock, we got the Crawl Puncher Pro, Sumatra 2500, Benjamin Armada, and of course the Air Force Condor SS. We're bracketing these off bullpups versus sporters. The first round is accuracy at 35 yards. The tricky thing with these slugs is, well, they're bigger, they're longer, they're heavier, so it takes a lot more spin to stabilize them. Your spin rate's really a combination of the twist rate of the barrel and the velocity of the projectile. Now most 25 caliber and under barrels are basically a 116 twist rate, so that's pretty standard. So often what it's going to come down to is which of these rifles can push that slug faster to help with the accuracy. As we can see here, the impact is pushing a little bit heavier than the Adaman and it pays off. Next up we got the Air Force Condor against the Crawl Puncher Pro. I think the Air Force has a clear cut advantage here. I mean, these Condors are made with the power wheel so you can get some more speed and a little bit more with slugs in mind. And it really shows, as you can see, the crawl throwing those slugs around at that lower speed. Around 560 feet per second just isn't going to handle it for slugs, but yet the condor grouping quite nicely at about 800 feet per second. Next up, the bull boss against the bantam. Now, both of these bull pups are firing at that 650 feet per second or less rate that we saw with the crawl as well, but they were grouping a lot better. It's also interesting oh. to note that the Hassan Bull Boss was the only bullpup that allowed these slugs to fit in its magazine, which is kind of a nice touch. The rest we had a single load. Both of these groups very similar, but the Bull Boss was just a hair better, meaning it moves on to the next round. Next up, we got the Sumatra and the Armada. Holy and yes, it's very loud. We haven't done much with the Sumatra, but it's very impressive. Wow. Almost 950 feet per second, an incredible group. Now the Armada, which is basically a dressed up Marauder, just doesn't have the velocity to handle it. I know there's modifications out there that can help push that, but if you have an out of the box Marauder, just won't handle these slugs. So moving on from round one, in the Bullpups, we got the Impact and the Bull Boss, and our Sporter Stock, the Condor and the Sumatra. Round two, it's all about power. I mean, these slugs are hunting slugs, so we need power as well as accuracy. With the impact's ability to adjust that regulator and hammer spring, you're able to get up to 64 foot-pounds. The bull boss, you can't adjust anything, and the best it can do is 47 foot-pounds, so the impact's gonna take it. In the sporter division, the Condor with that power wheel was able to push things to a very impressive 72 foot-pounds, well above either of our bullpups. But man, the Sumatra, 98 foot-pounds. This thing is a beast. And unfortunately, though the Condor was doing exceptionally well, it's knocked out. So for our final round, we got the FX Impact against the Sumatra 2500. We got to separate the boys from the men, so we pushed it back to 50 yards. Because, you know, with a slug, you can be accurate at 25, even 35 yards. But at 50, those bullets really start to scatter unless you have what it takes to stabilize them. Now with the Impact, we tuned the regulator, we pushed the hammer spring, but one of the things going against it is that FX Smooth Twist Barrel is a choked barrel, meaning it narrows at the end. Now that's not a problem for pellets that can be easily reshaped, but there's a lot more surface area on slugs. And what happens on that choked barrel is it gets to the end, they can decelerate, and also there can be a lot of lead fouling, causing further inaccuracies. And I think that's what we're seeing on this Impact group, because that's not what you usually get out of an Impact. Now the Sumatra with that unrelenting power had no problem reaching out to 50 yards. Now the Sumatra doesn't have a choked barrel, and the key to making an unchoked barrel work is that the slugs have to be perfectly sized for that bore. Clearly looking at this group, 
The Hunter Supply 25 Cal Slugs are a perfect match, resulting in the best group of the day, and the Sumatra takes it all. She's big, she's loud, and she's a little bit hard to handle, but when it comes to these new slugs, it's the perfect match. I'm blown away. I haven't spent a lot of time with the Sumatra, but I'm intrigued. It's a gun that's been around for a lot of years, and I, I personally have kind of ignored it, but I think it's time to revisit a little bit. You know, I feel like we're really entering the golden age of air gunning, especially with PCPs. Lots to experiment and play around with. As always, thanks for tuning in to another episode. Leave your comments below. Give your suggestion ideas, subscribe to us, share us with a friend, and tune in next week for another episode of Under Pressure.